it is a statement of fact. No one fights cancer alone. And that's part of why when folks gather for Relay for Life events, they are embodying a vision to end cancer and support one another. It's an experience that unites communities to celebrate survivors, remember loved ones, and raise funds to improve lives and advocate for research. And we would like to welcome Ashley Clevenger. She is the marketing chair with Relay for Life of Wicomico County. Ashley, always good to see you in Historic Studio D. Thank you for having me. So take us back a little bit and talk a, uh, about how you got involved with Relay for Life. Well, I have a little bit of a personal story that I can share. Um, we lost my father-in-law, unfortunately, several years ago to lung cancer, and that was excruciatingly painful to watch. So I vowed at that time that I would always do my part for the organization, and then most recently I lost a very special cousin to cancer. So I'm very passionate about our mission, and I'm committed to the cause. But mm -hmm. I got involved with Relay for Life of Wicomico County several years ago, too, on the leadership committee, and then I stepped up to the chair position. And like I said, I'm just totally committed to our cause and, and what the organization is all about. Well, we're sorry for your loss, mm -hmm. but boy, have you turned something bad into something good. Why is this such a, no, a noble cause? Why is it a noble cause? Well, all of our fundraising efforts go to, you know, further technology and research and advocate for programs uh, that help everyone that's going through cancer. And we are the leading fighting cancer organization, and our vision is to end cancer as we know it today. And one way you do that is with the walk year after year. Tell us about what that entails. Yes, so this year's event is Friday, September the 20th at Winter Place Park in the Carriage House. And it's, we have something for everyone, right? We have inflatables, we have food trucks, we have music, we have entertainment, we have our walk, of course, that lasts from six to 10. Uh, we do start with a survivor reception at 5 p.m. that's put on by Tidal Health. And throughout the evening, we just have a lot of friendly competitions. You know, just it's a fun family event for everyone with the culmination of the night really being our Luminaria ceremony. And that's where people purchase bags and lanterns to honor and m memorialize their loved ones maybe that they've lost. And it's just a very powerful time of the night. Yeah. And everybody lo always looks forward to that, though. It's just a very moving, very special time. It is very much that. What is the Hope Lodge? So the Hope Lodge is a service that's provided to anybody that's traveling to, from the Eastern Shore to Baltimore, having undergoing any sort of treatment over there. And it's free to anyone that needs to stay there while they're undergoing treatment. Wow. And so our fundraising efforts support the Hope Lodge. Okay, I'm sorry, tell us again when this take pl takes place. It's Friday, September the 20th, okay. from five to 10. The survivor reception starts at five, and that's for any registered survivor put on by Tidal Health, and at 6 p.m. we kick off the walk with the survivors leading the first lap, and then eventually the rest of the crowd will follow. Yeah. And again, we have the events taking on, you know, going on through the rest of the night, and it ends at 10 p.m., and it's at the Carriage House at Winter Place Park. In Salisbury. In Salisbury. You know, Ashley, events like this could not happen without people like you, and thank you for all you do. Thank you. For cancer research and bringing hope. Yes, absolutely, every day. Thank you. We also want to mention that uh, Draper Media is a proud sponsor of the event. Uh, so Ashley, thank you again very much. This, that passion just mm -hmm. shines through her, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You're an amazing woman. Thank you.